A no hold barred media session was held with a special advisor to the Governor of Ondo State and Director General of the Performance and Project Implementation Monitoring Unit to discuss on the state of security on Ondo State and the way forward to building a major resilient nation with Plus TV News correspondent Emmanuel Odubaboku in attendance again. Here's the report. A no old barred session where media personnel and the special advisor to the governor of Undo State and director general of the Performance and Project Implementation Monitoring Unit, Engineer Babajide Akiridulu, to discuss on the level of security in the state. Babajide Akiridulu noted that the state is regarded as one of the safest in the country today, with its own security outfit, Amutekun, spread across the state. On those days, it's still one of the safest states in this country. I mean, I, I look at the newspapers regularly. You hardly hear of incidences on a daily basis, but you would hear of one big incidence in Anondo. And of course, usually the large ones are the ones that are loudest. Uh, but let's, let's look at things holistically from the top, like from a broader point of view. The, the cases are not as pronounced as you'd say in many other states. Um, if you look at this Southwest now, Let's be honest, in this particular Utah season where they are saying we're hearing issues in, Ondo, in Ogun, in Lagos, in Oshun, you're not hearing anything about Ondo State right now. Ondo State is relatively quiet. And a lot of that is a testament to the collaborative work. And that's to answer your next question. In Ondo, they've found the middle ground for the police, for the army, for Amotekun to work beautifully. If you come to Ondo State now, in the general towns, every city, I think there's no other, there's no corner you know see an Amotekun vehicle with their small little like camper in, in all the major towns. The special advisor who reacted to the issue of restructuring, which has been the call of many Nigerians today, said every state must be autonomous, as engineer Kiridoli gave his insight as to the actual meaning of restructuring. Having to always go to Abuja to do things has never really made that much sense to me. Um, because what you tend to see is you just see a disconnect between and this is across board, multiple parastatals, you name it. You still see a full-blown disconnect between what happens there and what happens in the States. I've always been very pro-restructuring because what that just means is you know that there are some things that will be Abuja's responsibility and it's clearly stated. And then states will have some level of autonomy to at least address many of the issues. Despite assurances and claims of improved security by the Nigerian government, it has only deteriorated across the country with reported cases of kidnapping and banditry making daily headlines. Emmanuel Udrububukun, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.